humble looking bread roll is the star of the show at Bomb Dough in Cambridge. Crispy on the outside, really soft on the inside and consistent, perfect. It's really sweet and it's filled with guava. It's really yummy for like an afternoon kind of snack. It never stops. We're making over 200 cheese breads per day. Bomb Dough is all about the cheese bread, a Brazilian treat made with gluten-free cassava flour, says chef and owner Marcia Shemin. The cassava flour is from the yucca plant. It's just a really dynamic ingredient. It's amazing, but it's quite difficult to work with. The cheese bread recipe took probably 70 tries to get it perfect. Over a pistachio latte, Shemin displays a mix of sweet and savory cheese breads. Now we have garlic, pesto, bacon, and the traditional. I think the chocolate will steal your heart. What's not to like about Brazilian chocolate? Condensed milk, cacao powder, and butter. There's salt with this. Yes, yeah, so oh, we mix it well together. It's so yes. good. Bomb dough also serves more familiar items, including smoked brisket ramen and acai bowls. Well, Brazil is a melting pot of, uh, of cultures, so we wanted to utilize that diversity and utilize it on our menu items. It's been a tough but rewarding journey for Shemin and her fiance Nicole Alves. Before they opened Bomb Dough in 2022, they worked as cleaners for a construction business. They also made and sold popsicles. Now they're focused on their dream, bringing Brazilian fast casual food to the masses. After all, bom means good in Portuguese. Our mission was always with Brazilian taste, Brazilian flavor. At the end of the day, we always wanted to share our culture. Next time you stop by the Boston Public Library, go on an empty stomach. This is our cheese and charcuterie board. It comes with mixed olives, whole grain mustard, and honeycomb. This fancy plate is just one reason this line is forming in the hall. You can come in, grab a quick bar bite, and some amazing craft cocktails while you read your book. Ken Barrett is vice president of catering for the Catered Affair, which operates two restaurants inside the library, the Map Room Tea Lounge and the Courtyard Tea Room. The space in the Courtyard Tea Room is so spectacular. There's so much light. It was part of the original porta cachet into the library. So it was meant as a grand entrance at some time in its existence. The Courtyard Tea Room serves what Barrett calls an American version of high tea. We kept it more formal because over the years we've lost some of the tea rooms in Boston and we know that it's a wanted asset. It's nice and refined and beautiful, but not pretentious. Much of the food here comes from local vendors, says Barrett. We're proud to have a program that we call Community Table where we're welcoming small artisans and small restaurateurs and batch makers to be a part of our cuisine. Chef Kathy Wagoner gives us a glimpse of what's on the menu. Smoked salmon tartine with capers, lemons, and chives. Meat pie with red pepper chutney. This is the chocolate bread pudding with horchata and rum ice cream. All enjoyed inside one of Boston's most beloved landmarks. It's crazy that we have these hidden gems that most people don't know about. And back to Bomb Doe. Before Marcia and Nicole opened the restaurant, they spent six months renovating it themselves with the help of family members. They're incredible. They refurbished, painted walls, built benches. The space used to be the old East Coast Grill, and they hope to eventually offer cooking classes as well as an event space for the community. A lot of hard work paying off. Up next, paying tribute to a special friend.